huge. I, I won't be able to pay my payroll. That thought on the minds of many business owners like Becky Rand of Becky's Diner, facing the impact of Portland's possible minimum wage jump from $10 an hour to 15 I don't want to be forced to change things here dramatically, which is what that kind of an increase would do to us. I've supported an increase in the minimum wage. Restaurant and shop owners gathered outside the diner Wednesday morning to launch the Too Far, Too Fast campaign against question one on Portland's ballot. Have you decided so? Yes, I sure have. The staff here already make more than $10 an hour to serve up the meals they have for years, but those meals could get costly. I try to buy locally as much as we possibly can, and they're going to have that increase for their payroll too. So that means our cost of goods is going to go up and, and our payroll. So it's a double whammy. Cruise ships in town mean a busy lunch shift just down the road at DeMillo's. Calamari set up. Thank you, Rose. Steve DeMillo says a payroll increase here is too much to pass on to the customers. There's a limit to what you want to pay for a bowl of chowder and a beer. And the challenge also comes to paying servers who would make $11 an hour, costing DeMillo's more than half a million dollars. $682,000 in a year. So that doesn't take in consideration the folks in the kitchen that make $10 an hour, the dishwasher. Owners are afraid Portland customers could find other cities to shop and eat, hurting the city's economy and leaving local owners with an uncertain future. My customers, most of them are my friends now, and I don't want that to go away.